Art contests are competitions where a bunch of artists compete to see who draws the best. It's entirely subjective and luck-based, but that won't stop some insecure artists from tying it to their self-worth anyway. Hopefully by the end of this, I can convince you that these things aren't that serious, and maybe art contests can be fun, right? Let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, these drawings are old, and I don't draw this badly now, so that's a disclaimer. <laughs> As a freshman in high school, I begged my counselor to get me out of band class and into art one. Like, I can't even explain to you guys how awful I was at the flute. I was 7th chair at a 7. Anyways, this was the moment I decided I'd take art seriously. Little did I know that so did everybody else. I think it was my high school hosting the art contest, and the theme was something goofy like being creative with your friends or something like that, you know? I entered it, and this is what I drew. And if you're wondering, yes, those are Crayola colored pencils. That's all I had, guys, but this drawing won me second place. Emphasis on second place, that's important. So we get to the award ceremony, it's in a classroom, and we're just sitting there as this lady rambles on about how thoughtful our art and our artist statements were. We all won Target gift cards, but she hadn't bought them yet. And spoiler, I think she forgot, but anyway, I was satisfied. Tell me why the next day my friend was like, did you hear what? Wait, let's not use her real name. Um, let's call her Michael Jackson because that's kind of what she looks like. So my friend was like, did you hear what MJ said about you on Instagram? And I was like, no. Well, it turns out that MJ she won third place in that contest. She's a junior and wasn't exactly satisfied with the results and said, Rose should have never won second place. Her art style is too childish. Then she replied to another comment saying that I was ruining her chances into getting into art school. Of course, of course, in hindsight, it's just funny that such an occurrence went down. I don't know if any art school cares about some contests that happened in high school like Imagine. Her anatomy is quite wonky and her perspective is poor, but she did win this art contest in 2016, so let's accept her. I mean guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think high school art contests have that much of an impact in your admission process, but... After I won second place, she wouldn't talk to me or any of her friends. I think that broke my confidence for a while. I'll just say that I tried more realism in high school after that, but you know what? In my adult years, I just leaned into the cartoony aspect of my art because who cares? You draw what makes you happy, and to MJ, like, we were all teenagers. Her frontal lobe wasn't all developed yet. Mine wasn't either. I don't hold it against her. And having my art called childish isn't the worst thing I see. You know, I see how beginning artists are treated on Instagram. I see the comments, and they're way harsher than that. To anyone experiencing comments that don't help improve your art, such as, Your art sucks, or You should stop drawing. You know what, just ignore it. And turn it into a positive, like, hey, at least their comment is giving you an algorithm boost. Whatever, I'll just make a video on constructive criticism soon, so don't worry. Sadly, me at 15 didn't know the difference between constructive criticism and an insult, but if anything, it just goes to show that whether it's 2016 or this year, people are bold behind an Instagram comment. So, a rundown. I entered an art contest. I didn't win that art contest. I had my art made fun of. I had a girl believe that she couldn't get into art school because of me. And last but not least, we did not get our $5 Target gift cards. If only you knew the name of the contest and the lady who made it, I could have got that money, but you know what, I guess we'll never know. You know what? Guys, should I go track down this woman for 5 bucks? Should I go and try to get that $5 gift card? And also, I'll adjust it for inflation. Just, just add on to that. But like, let's be honest, there's nothing at Target that costs that much, but... That's not the worst example of art contest shenanigans. That goes to...
If you don't know what amino is, first of all, I am so jealous of you. If you do know what it is, do you guys like want to start a class action lawsuit? We need some sort of compensation for like the lost brain cells and the trauma we got from that app. But yeah, Amino is like an app where all the communities are segregated to circle jerk on a topic they enjoy. Kind of like Discord, Tumblr, and Instagram if it all formed into like one weird amalgamation. Yeah, that's the best way I could describe it. And after that, I think they added like a bit of chemical X to the equation because like, I swear the whole place is just overrun with ads and no one uses it anymore. It's like Amino hit rock bottom before the Google AdSense nonsense, but then proceeded to bring a shovel. The next drama could have happened anywhere, but I feel like it couldn't have happened the way it happened on Amino. Now featuring Miss Love Killer, which, um, yeah, that's a really dumb username. Like, do you guys think there's a Mr. Love Killer? And if so, where are they? Hello, I'm very excited to be joining the art community. And why not start off with a bang? I have a two items for a lucky winner. First place prizes. A brand new, never used smartwatch I bought specifically for this contest. My drawing tablet. I'll miss it, but I'm getting a bigger one, so why not give it to a lucky artist? It's fully functional and it will be cleaned. It still has all the pen tips, CD, instruction book, and package it came in. A full drawing of any character of your choice. I do absolutely everything you can think of. A few limits though. Second place winner prizes. A full drawing of any character. There can be up to three characters in the piece. Absolutely everything is allowed, but a small limit. Go ahead and ask if you think it isn't allowed. A shout out by me. You'll be in my story feed for a month. Rules. You have to draw my character, Skylar. Make it creative. Make it cute. Feel free to draw her next to your OC. If you want extra points, draw her in kitty keyhole outfit, Ew. virgin killer sweater, or playboy bunny costume. No bases, tracing, etc. No whitewashing, she isn't white. Ask about anything you are unsure about. She has light brown skin, has yellow eyes, navy to light blue hair, heavy eye makeup, a moon, a two-star tattoo on her neck, long slit navy skirt and black converse to clear up any confusion yeah the only thing i'm confused about is like that terrible fashion choice like wh what what do we call that fashion choice with a skirt that is a split and then like black converse i don't know it, it just like reads like you know you know never mind i won't say what it reads either pm me your entry or comment it down below two entries per person Second entry is for extra points, your overall score. Here's a photo of her OC Skylar, and here's the prizes. You may think I was here for the Wacom, but nah. I was truly here for the hype Bluetooth smartwatch. I mean, look at it, isn't it cool? No? Well, I think it's cool. I mean, it has a calendar on it. <laughs> Who doesn't want a calendar? It was 2018 and we all had an Intuos one, but none of us had a smartwatch. I know you didn't have a smartwatch in 2018, don't lie to me. I mean, you think you're so fancy with your $1,000 Cintiq, but does that $1,000 Cintiq have a calendar on it? I don't think so. And with that, the post garnered some interest and people were willing to draw Skylar, who we weren't allowed to whitewash or trace. Okay, but please, put her in that slit skirt and black converse. So on April 25th, I submitted my first painting with my obsession of choice at the time, watercolors. I'm not exactly sure what my intentions were on the painting, but you know what? I don't smoke, guys. It causes lung cancer. I don't know why I feel like critiquing it all of a sudden, but the white floor in the background was a choice. Whatever, it's pretty for what it is. And on May 5th, I came back with my second entry. And looking at this, I get secondhand frustration from the oversaturated colors. 
I use Dr. P. H. Martins for this, and if any of you guys use Dr. P. H. Martins, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It soaked the paper. Those paints are also very expensive and have a tendency to ruin any painting I use them with. Like, I literally sold the monkey's paw to someone else because I couldn't deal with these paints anymore. They're that saturated. And maybe I'm just using them incorrectly, but you know what? I'm gonna stick to my koi's. And with that, I waited, and in the meantime, Miss Killer Love answered some questions. How is the winner chosen? Is it random, or is it based on a percentage? For example, if we drew a background, 10%, character, 60%, and etc. Yes, I add up all the percentages. I add extra percentages for skill and creativity. I want to participate. Can you please extend the end date at least one or two days? Please? I'll extend it two days, just for you. Thank you. You won't regret it. Oh, but we'll regret it. And that's also very sweet of her. She extended the date by two days. Not one day, guys. Two days. And now we wait. And we wait. And we continue to wait. May 18th passes, and now it's June. June passes, and now it's July. And everyone was restless. Okay, and you know, your girl had the BS meter locked and loaded, because on July 10th, I said, this is probably the biggest free art scam in the history of big art scams. Then, someone else added to it. Yo, give the peeps their sh you scammer. The fuck you doing, taking a sh Give the people the stuff they deserve before you get reported, scamming head ass. You can't report her, as I have reported her before, but the curators couldn't do anything about the contest art trade scams. Shame, as loads of people have spent hours on some of their entries, all for nothing. Well, sh People like her don't deserve to hold contests. And I agree. There is no sin here worse than wasting an artist's time. There's no snap of the finger and boom, art. No, there's planning and creating involved time that we can't get back. And it's crazy, because I looked over the post and tried to see where the telltale sign was. You guys can go back and try to see if you can find out the scam, but I don't know where it was. I can't see where it was obvious. Like, she answered everyone's questions, she gave a detailed post. This chick just wanted some free art of her OC. That's all. She committed this whole scheme because she wanted people to draw her character. And that's it. That's crazy. And because no one got hurt and no money was involved, Amino's moderators did absolutely nothing. Like, I didn't archive this. Her account is still active and everything is still there. Six years later, I hate this app. I hate this app so much. And I know that half the artists there did too because they left and the app is now basically a wasteland. But anyway, I feel like these artists deserve some appreciation, so here are their entries. I know a bunch of people deleted their posts, but this is all I can find so far. I hope these talented artists are doing well, and comment below who you think won. Now, for our next chapter, I was the villain of this story, or one can say, a bad guy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, what the hell was that? No more high school and no more amino. Finally, we have a competition with some stakes. The Bad Guys X Talent House Fan Art Competition, where the winner gets $2,000 and a private tour to DreamWorks Animation Studio. I mean, it's no hype Bluetooth smartwatch, but it's something, I guess. No, seriously, let me take you guys in my mindset at the time. Like, I couldn't afford my last semester of university and had to probably take out a student loan. You know, making a deal with the devil herself, Sally Mae. Okay, okay, I, it wasn't that bad, but like, I had to take a federal student loan, which is kind of bad, but just as bad, but a step before the Sally Mae. 
And since this was my last semester, I was also preparing to do like a job hunt. And you guys know how hard it is to break into the animation industry. I wanted to be a production assistant. And you know what? How else would I do it? By entering some Instagram art contest, it was foolproof. I don't have to take out a loan. And you know what? This would be the perfect networking opportunity. Now, I was really, really eager to enter this contest. So I submitted this really early on. And you know what? They thought it was good because they put it on their Instagram. So now you're wondering, what is the drama? Did artists begin fighting each other? Nah. Did the $2,000 go missing? <laughs> that would be funny, but no, that, that didn't happen. Everyone got what they earned. I'm pretty sure it was all drama free and it was all wholesome and undramatic. So where did the problem lie? It was me, guys. I was the problem. You see, I wasn't exactly satisfied with the winners. Before you speculate, no, I didn't complain publicly. I didn't pull an Illuminati and just start <laughs> accusing people on Twitter. No, my immature self was so sure that the winner of the competition saw my submission since I submitted it early and proceeded to steal my composition. That's right, folks. I accused them of stealing my composition. Like, if that's a real source of plagiarism. It sounds so stupid looking back. Like, cops, that's the guy. They stole my composition. Hurry up before they get away. This whole, like, situation is giving examples of A and B, if you know what I mean. I was so angry that I took the drawing off my Instagram and redrew it with my OCs and preferred color palette. Now, I won't show the winner's drawing only because now, two years removed from the situation, I don't believe they stole from me and I think their art looks really beautiful with those color palettes and everything. So I know what they did that made them win and made me lose. Like, I think their drawing is amazing. Also, I'm not here to bring anyone down. Like, sure, they could have been inspired by my submission, but like... Who cares, dude? I just made up the drama with my circle because I was pissed that I had to take out that stupid federal loan and had no idea how to break into the animation industry. And then it hit. I was Michael Jackson. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. Just as it was stupid to believe an art contest would get someone into art school, it was also dumb to think that an art contest would get me an animation job. Okay, maybe my plan wasn't as stupid as MJ's, but being upset at other artists for winning, that's not the way to go. And these feelings come from fear. Fear of incompetence, fear of uncertainty, and the fear of being less than perfect. And anyone is susceptible to it. It's easy to forget that art is subjective, and we tie so much of our energy and time and self-worth into it. We never truly know what judges are looking for, so instead of letting jealousy consume you, take a step back, be proud of what you did, and you know what, it sounds like obvious advice, but I know from searching online that plenty of artists experience this. I mean, looking back at all these drawings, I could tell you exactly what is wrong with each and every one of them. I disown them, they are not mine. <laughs> okay, they're mine, but I have to, they're my children, but like, I can tell you, I'm not proud of 100% of all of these. I mean, here is some more evidence. Like, if you think you were robbed from an art contest, here are some more testimonies for you. MJ went to a top art school, and I doubt she's even thinking about that high school art contest. I don't know what happened to her after art school, and LinkedIn is like a big snitch, so we'll never know really, but you know what? I'm 99% sure that she's doing just fine and she's thriving in her preferred field. And me, guess what? I paid off the loan the following year and I also got to break into the animation industry with that production job. And Miss Killer Love, um, I, I think she's probably in jail, hopefully. Probably for something like tax invasion or something stupid. I don't know, not important. All good endings. So don't let a low point in your art journey dissuade the care and passion we all have as artists. Okay, that's it. Class dismissed. Wait, 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 ignore the bell. Listen, I have something important. 
Join my Discord, it's for artists, creators, storytellers, writers. The link will be in the description. Also, check out my web novel, it's free. Each page is either illustrated or animated, so go check that out. Oh, and there's themes of dystopia, action, and sci-fi. And also, did I mention it was free and has like hundreds of drawings? So, link to the website in the description. Like and subscribe. Have fun while creating today and I'll see you later.